Hey dudes, what's up? It is your friend Keith. I am live again in the control room at Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in England, and I've got Dave Mustaine's personal USA Master Built Breed Love guitar to share with you guys. If you're new to the channel, click like, click subscribe, come join our circle of friends. You're going to see the coolest guitars I get from all around the world, including legends like Mr. Dave Mustaine from Megadeth. So, if you've been living under a rock in the guitar world, you might not know this, but back in November, I bought Dave Mustaine's guitar collection on Reverb.com. It caused a massive internet uproar. But, it got Dave's attention. Rolling Stone magazine reached out to him about the buy, and he said he was happy with it, and he would be totally down to meet and sign each and every one. Obviously, I had to take him up on this offer, and this guitar is signed by him. I brought his entire collection to Wembley Arena in London January 31st for their show with Five Finger Death Punch. This was part of the entire collection. I think everything got signed except for one instrument, which was being used by a young country artist over here on a recording that day. It was a Gretsch Dobro guitar. It's the only one that didn't get signed. This guitar sounds awesome. We actually used it to record on, um, on a track for that very same country artist, Liv Lawrence. Also, uh, check out Bootyard Bandits. This was used to record on a track by them. They're a phenomenal band, really funny, really talented. You'll be hearing more for them, from them for sure. So if we look in here, you can see this is signed by the master builder, Kim Breedlove. His brother Larry started this company. So the history on this, Larry and his partner were working for Taylor Guitars out of San Diego, if I recall correctly, and decided to start their own company. They moved to Oregon, Bend, Oregon, which is just above California in America, and they started this Breedlove company. The guitars are phenomenally built. They took everything they learned at Taylor and they kicked it up a notch. Kim was making, uh, Kim's Larry's brother, he was making, I think, banjos, mandolins, and, and was very well known for that. And he decided to move out to Oregon and become the master builder for the company. I do not believe he builds for them any longer. I don't know if he retired or he passed away. There's a lot of reference to him in the past tense. That's hard to tell. I did a little bit of research, but he's no longer listed on the, um, on the team, on the website for them. So it's interesting. The serial numbers, I don't know how they are formed as far as like what the nomenclature is, but it begins with an 09. So I'm guessing this is about an 11 year old guitar. Also inside there, you can see, so it's Sitka spruce top, obviously, and it's rosewood back and sides. This is the D25 Pro, master built by Kim Breedlove, the guy whose name's on the company. Very, very cool. The guitar um, is pretty much in the exact same condition we got it from Dave Mustaine. We wanted it to have just all of his vibe exactly, I mean... The, anything from the dirt and the grit on the uh, the fretboard, you know, if you want to clone Dave Mustaine, I'm positive you've got some of his DNA on here. No doubt about it. It's got some uh, gaffer tape with, you know, guitar number five. This thing's definitely gone on the road. You can tell it's been brought on tour with Dave. The case is awesome. You've got this red Kind of baseball stitching, cross stitching. It's great. You can see that there was some sort of uh, tour airline sticker big that was on here previously. And it's got inventory codes that uh, match everything else we've got from him. Very thick leather handle. Really nice. The strap has the other ends come out. But uh, again, more sign of it being used. Really, really cool. 
Let's go ahead and take it out of its case so we can see a little bit clearer. All right, I'll take this out and put this over here for one second. Neck feels fantastic on it. Inside the case, Kaiser Capo, Dave Mustaine's personal Capo. I'm gonna put this up for sale separately so someone can get a really cool piece of, uh, you know, Dave Mustaine's guitar playing collection and uh, not have to dip into their trust fund. Other than that, this will all come with this guitar and we do put it up for sale to help support the studio. And it will come with this really nice Breed Love like truss rod tool. Awesome. Case is nice, it's got you know, the whole crushed velvet effect. Looks like it's manufactured by the same company as a TK. No, it says Access here. Access, these cases are, huh, that's funny, I've never seen that before. Well made in China. Well, I can tell you this. I thought it was one of the Canadian um, TK, TKL, TK cases for Gibson. And this one, as far as I can tell, is nicer. So that's interesting. I mean, the handle definitely nicer than the Gibson ones. And the stitching, again, really cool. Much, much thicker. Yeah, definitely. Okay, back to this. I love the Rosewood Bridge on this. And again, these strings, Dave Mustaine touched these strings. This is what he played on. When uh, I brought these guitars to Wembley Arena, I was surprised to find out how important these non-pointy heavy metal guitars were to him. You know, I thought, okay, maybe Breed Love sent him a guitar. And he said, eh, that's nice, and then put it in the closet or something. But no, um, you know, we have a banjo, um, we've got a dobro guitar, and the first instruments he gravitated towards when he walked into the green room on the side of the stage at Wembley Arena were all of the non-electric guitars. It was, it was the banjo, the acoustic, and he's like, man, yeah, you know, th these are the songs I, I, these are the instruments I used to write songs with at my home in Tennessee. And, uh, you know, he goes, the banjo, this is like, I wrote a song on the last record when my wife's mother was, was, uh, going through cancer and, uh, really powerful stuff. So yes, these, these were part of his creative process and hashing out the songs that would later go on to records heard by millions of people. It's pretty wild. The grain on the wood is absolutely beautiful really really nice rosewood the neck stunning great profile you've got goto tuners interesting to see on an acoustic guitar i mean top-notch premium tuners on an electric but i don't think i've ever seen an acoustic with goto tuners but this this guitar is very um i don't know it's like it, it's just it seems so modern to me, it just seems it seems great, but at the same time, a very traditional instrument. The the sides are really cool. These are like flamed. Um, these look great. New, if you look at master built new breed love guitars, they're like ten grand. They're they're quite expensive. Um, so while this is going to be quite expensive i think it's the only guitar it's the only uh acoustic usa guitar that uh, dave mustaine's ever made available to anyone uh as far as i can tell there was two acoustic guitars in this collection and there was his dean mako which is really cool we're going to do a video on that coming up and then there's this one and they're just in two totally different leagues i mean they're both phenomenal really cool guitars, but this one is ultimate, you know, super, super pro master built by a, a big, big name in acoustic guitar in the acoustic guitar world. And, um, yeah, this is, you know, owned, 
owned by a legend, used to write songs and, and uh, you know, it just doesn't get cooler and rarer than that. And signed by the man himself at Wembley Arena in London. I mean, the story behind these guitars is just nuts. The The collection, of course, was super cool. But then when the story broke out, how they all ended up at a recording studio just outside London, Guitar World talked about it, Guitar Player, Rolling Stone <laughs> magazine. I mean, Rolling Stone's the, the biggest uh, music magazine in the world. It's, uh, it's crazy. Guitar World's the biggest guitar magazine in the world. Everyone was talking about this. The videos, there's videos other people did just commentary about this collection being sold and me buying it. They have over 100,000 views on YouTube, guys. It's crazy. So I hope you get a kick out of this. I'm sure plenty of you will have learned about a new brand, a new company, Breedlove. Um, I wasn't familiar with them when I bought this, to be totally honest with you. I was really excited because when I pulled it out, I was like, man, this thing is phenomenal. And the more I learned and the more we played it, the uh, happier we got. Check out the offset inlays too. So you can tell, I mean, this is, this is made for a real serious player. Stunning guitar. All right, guys, I got to get going because I've got a lot of videos to do for y'all. If you're new to the channel, click like, smash subscribe. You're going to see a lot more really, really rare instruments coming up. And let's get in focus there. And aside from that, um, follow us on the socials at Essex Recording Studios.